okay so we've talked a little bit about work and like how it's changed at work how how does that feel at home either you know related to work or just home how has COVID changed your home life for me it's just um just making sure I keep safe and clean I don't want to bring anything home I help my sister raise my nephew so I know when I get off work personally I will take my clothes off at the door and put them in a bag and go have a shower and then I'll change into different clothes or sometimes I'll even change right at work because just for me, I want to take the extra step and making sure I don't get anybody sick or, you know, just being aware and staying healthy and clean as much as possible. And that's just, yeah, I don't know. Me too. I feel like my hands are drying out from my yeah. hands because I like, um, like I always wash my hands a lot, but now it's like hyper, right? Mm. Like, so I'm, you know, I have soaps and, you know, different soaps at each sink and I've got foam hand sanitizer and the heavy duty <laughs> one and then the mm. little ones and mm. like. <laughs> Not to mention all the, uh, the cleaning wipes that you use, you know, right? Just for all the surfaces and that. I'm using those. Yeah, I've got like really 10 times. Yeah. Um, well, for me, I just, again, it's, uh, it's kind of the same. Um, just making sure that when you come home, um, you're changing your clothes, you're taking a shower. Um, as far as routine, um, it's been a little bit different. Um, you just, you feel more secluded, I guess, um, especially for me working in home care, I just find that you, you're you thinking about your clients and you're just thinking about the general public and you're not even, it's just so questionable as to whether or not you should even mix the two. Um, obviously, you should be, um, you know, following the guidelines and making sure that you only have so many people around you and, you know, that kind of thing. But it's still just constantly the unknown. And so you don't want to... Um, you don't want to risk anything and you definitely don't want to put your clients at risk. So I think that for me, that's been the biggest change is just constantly wondering if I'm doing something right, if I'm doing something wrong, should I be here? Should I be wearing a mask? You know, which now I guess is mandatory starting next week, but um, better safe than sorry. Yeah, I can relate to that too. Like, am I doing the the right or wrong thing, you know? And that balance between um, just like, you know, isolation and, and your mm -hmm. mental health and your, you know, your humanity and needing responsibility to family and friends around you in the community. Um, and then also just that unknown, like, you know, is this lurking? Yeah. You know, <sighs> and, and not wanting to contribute to that or like that sense of guilt, like, oh, I went to the beach today, but like, was that like, you know, and I went to the beach a lot of times. So I don't know, maybe someone will scold me after watching this live, but um, <laughs> was that bad? But I really needed that, you know, like I had a hard week. So I, I went to the beach and I didn't go any near anybody that I didn't know, mm -hmm. um, but I was in the water and other people were in the water. Like, you know, where, where do we draw that like balance between like yeah. work and, and life too, right? Because like, mm -hmm working with with people um, who might be vulnerable, but then also, you know, having responsibilities in the community. And mm -hmm. um, but I think I would just want to echo what you both said, too, um, is like, we don't know, but we're doing the best that we can. Right. So when we're coming in the door, you guys are both changing right away and, you know, washing up and washing your clothes and making sure your family members are protected and, you know, maintaining those distance and like having your I keep calling it my MySpace because I'm always trying to bring back the 90s. But um, <laughs> your my five or your 10 like or, you know, whatever they say to to have in your immediate folks that you hang out with or that you spend time with. Right. Um, yeah. So, yeah doing those things and like I find I'm cleaning out my car a lot too like, <laughs> so dirty <laughs> and I've noticed I, I actually just got approved I've had um kind of a little beater for last year and a half and because of my job I decided I need a new car so mm -hmm. brand new car from Honda coming soon <laughs> <laughs> But what? Yeah. Upgrade, working women. Exactly. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> How many? It's a work you're... expense. <laughs> it is a work expense, though. Seriously, it is, especially living in northern Ontario. Yeah. 